This is a quick tips video on programming custom soft keys within U-Control for the Pro Tools Control app, Pro Tools Dock, S3 Control Surface, and any other control surface that connects via U-Control. The simplest way to exponentially increase the speed and efficiency of your mixing, editing, composing, recording, whatever it is you do with your Yukon enabled DAW is to use soft keys. Using soft keys to open windows, jump to modes or pages, perform macros or multi-channel function edits, your creativity will take the driver's seat and using a mouse to circumnavigate menus and remembering keyboard commands will just go away. Whether you're assigning a soft key within the soft keys page on the control app, physical soft key, or the touch strip, this is a simple, straightforward procedure. First, let's create a simple key that alternates the edit mix window on Pro Tools. Let's use the first zone on the horizontal touch strip, although the procedure is the same for a touch screen or a physical soft key. Note, you have to have the application open to be able to set the soft keys. So in this case, I have Pro Tools open and it's the most recently focused app by U-Control. To bring up U-Control on the DAW, I can use the shortcut on the dock by pressing both the save and cancel keys or the eyeball key on the S3. This brings U-Control settings to focus on your DAW and now all you need to do is choose which area to place this new soft key. In this case, the dock horizontal touch strip. Next, click on the first zone on the touch strip display, then go to command. Here you can add a Yukon command, keyboard commands, and those are stackable. You can add jump to page commands and wheel commands. Since there are way over 600 Yukonized Pro Tools commands, you'll find most everything you want to do under Yukon. Then choose Window and select Mix Edit Window. Close the command edit window, and now you can customize the name of the soft key, also modify the font and color of the key, although the iPad can only display the app's default font. Test the key by focusing back to Pro Tools and tap the touch strip, alternating mix edit windows with just a tap. Remembering to save your work as you go is always a good thing, so press the save in U-Control here. Now let's create a soft key on a user page in the soft keys section of Pro Tools Control. In U-Control, select the touch screen section in the drop-down window and scroll down to page 148, which is the second user page. Clear out the keys that are unnecessary by clicking the key you want to clear, and then press clear. Choose where to put this next shortcut, then click Command. This key will be a macro that adds 10 VCA faders to the session, all with one touch. Since this is a complex maneuver, we'll use keystrokes. The new track command is on Mac, Shift, Command, plus N. So click on the drop down window and select Key. Click in the keystroke area and select Shift, Command, and type the letter N. Okay, add another key command, type in 10 for the number of tracks. Add another keystroke command to change from the default audio track to VCA, which is three successive arrow commands down while holding control and command, like this. Finally, add the keystroke enter to finish the sequence. Name the soft key 10 VCAs and change the color to green or whatever. Bring Pro Tools to the front, select a track after which I want to add my 10 new VCA faders, then press the new soft key. Done. Next, let's create a soft key that jumps us from our user page to the automation page in one button. Again, choose which key, then command, then this time select page. You'll see the display shows next page, but we actually want to go to the automation page. So select jump to page, and since the automation page is on page five, enter the number five in the space below the jump to dialog box. Close the editor window, name the soft key auto page or automation, color it if you want, and test it. Does it work? Save. Lastly, let's use the jog wheel for clip gain, but we also need to assign a key to turn on and off the clip gain line so we can see what we're doing. Let's use zone one on the vertical touch strip on the dock and use that to show hide the clip gain line. Select the top zone, command, Yukon type command, and then this time use view, clip, clip gain line. Close the soft key editor, color it, go to Pro Tools, touch the zone. Just a light tap works. Now for the wheel. Go to the vertical touch strip in the editor, choose zone two this time, and add a wheel command. Choose not the artist control or the transport icon, but the regular jog command. Then under function, choose custom, clip gain. Close the soft key editor, go to Pro Tools, select a clip, use zone one to show and hide the clip gain line, and now with the line showing, now touch zone two to assign the clip level adjustment to the wheel. Turn the wheel with the clip selected and voila, no more mouse clip gain. If you like it, 
Remember to save U-Control settings before you close out a Pro Tools or U-Control. The beauty of these custom assignments is that they're global. They'll be available for every Pro Tools session you work on, so your work will be faster and much more efficient. Apply these techniques to any command, function, or keyboard macro, and remember any Yukon enabled DAW has the same soft key programmability. What I've shown you here with Pro Tools is available for Logic, Cubase, Nuendo, Pyramix, etc. Apply these techniques to any command, function, or keyboard macro you do often in your workflow and spend your energy being creative. Let muscle memory take over rather than mousing through menus or memorizing keyboard commands. Be sure to see all the Avid videos on U-Control surfaces and applications.